Sasso Cylinder Hotel Ruins, built around 1900 and abandoned in 1950. Watch your head in this place. Really bang mine once. This is the river directly opposite where we're camped. Interestingly enough, it's uh, completely dry when you get to the Lindus Crossing Bridge. So it shows how much must be getting used for irrigation. This is the Lindus River in the Lindus Valley, not far from where we're parked up for the night. I think the um, concrete piers in the middle of the river here are from the original main road bridge which used to come across here and go past the hotel, Windus Hotel. Water's quite deep along here. Could be the odd fish. The fellow that built this hut was a gold miner by the name of Watty Thompson. Apparently he built this hut while mining here in the 1950s. Died in November 1979 at Ross Island in Antarctica. Oh, on the famous Air New Zealand flight. There you go. Quite different to mining huts throughout central Otago as this one is all concrete. Pretty dark in here, but uh, it's not the old coal range. Very holy fall. Poor old Waddy died on Mount Erebus, 29th of November 1979. That's where we're parked up down below at the campsite, which is near the hotel ruins over in the far corner by the um, big pine trees there. A couple more people arrived in today, family groups, it's free to stay here. 